Hey there, sports fans. Welcome to the Hot Sports Super Eagles Watch Podcast. Victor Godfrey in the presence of the hot man, Babajide Guerrero and Olawale Adigun. We We're had, we had hey a, there, we had, sports fans. My name is Olawale Adigun. We had a heated, we had a heated, uh, yeah, that's a very nice tagline, by the way. Hey there, sports fans. They're getting twisted. Uh, we had a heated conversation, hot yeah. conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute about mm-hmm. the goalkeeping department. I can't believe your views, Wale, yeah. but... Let's talk about David Tens. Let's talk about the business of the Super Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. The spirits are still high. Looking forward to the big quarterfinal clutch against the Palancas Negras, as mm. it's called. And um, I, of Angola, by the way. But yeah. now there, if you're wondering who they are. Mm. Uh, so now, David Tens and their performances so far. You had, of course, Juan Bali, the goalkeeper. Two goalkeepers, actually. Ojo yeah. and Juan Bali in goal. Uh, you had the likes of uh, Calvin Bassi making his debut for the national team in the uh, ongoing football fiesta in, uh, in Cote d'Ivoire. What your thoughts on this? We wanted to put Osimi on that list. Yeah, but actually. But I'm not too sure. Because I still think he's a, he's a green on. Came on in 2019. He's African football of the year. How yeah, green is the one? In, the, in this competition. Okay. Because when he came through in 2019, he was a youngster. Mm-hmm. I think he came on in the third place game. Yes, against um, Tunisia. For Udo, Udo and Igalo. Against Tunisia. And we thought it was going to push on, but injuries cost him in 2022. So he's back here again mm. on the stage. So I'll put yeah, him like a part time Delta. Yeah, yeah, he can go for. He can go in. He okay, so so what about the other experience. those that have been a part of this? No, I, I think it's very commendable. Um, I think sometimes debutants are they enjoy a warmer and calmer environment when the ones that are virtuoso or veterans make them feel at home. You know, mm-hmm. does the right things for them, and in a way, just helps them to just settle in. And step forward, Calvin Bassi. I've been mm-hmm. very impressed. Mm-hmm. You know, Calvin Bassi is that guy who. I thought, why are you leaving Ajax for Fulham? And then I didn't, I remember the lay of the English Premier League. And then the fact that he's just been absolutely blissful. He's yeah. been solid. You know, he's very solid alongside Ola. You know, I think in that department, when we get to the semi-final, not if, because we're going to beat Angola. I like your confidence. You know, when? I, I love your confidence. I, I, said I think he's been a better left back than Zedou Sanusi. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Here's why. My thoughts. Here's why. Yeah, I agree, Wally. You know, yeah. for the first time we're agreeing on this one. I agree. Here's why. In the second goal of Ademola Lukman, same as I said, I've been in that position all Countless tournament times. long. Yeah. And he failed to put in a quality ball. Yeah. Now, his set play is good. His set play is good. But in-game crossing sometimes is everything. Calvin Bassi just had one bite at the cherry. And thank you for coming. Anytime, put, put it on the money. Just put it on yeah. the but, but usually, when that happens is when the game is towards the end, in, you know, towards the dying. Yeah. End, you know, and well, the players are a bit, a bit, your, your position are also maybe looking for a goal, Godfrey, end, you know, giving spaces. Me do. Up or down, <laughs> Kamen has been a solid option. That's it. But I think Sadi Wabali has also been good. Oh, yeah. But I think it's been overall a very nice one for It's been Tom. good, it's been decent, <clears> but it's <throat> not been anything out of the ordinary. Right. Right, so, Wabali hasn't been out of the ordinary, mm. but it's been composed, it's transmitted confidence, you know, to the back line, and that's what you want from a goalkeeper. What about, so, uh, okay. I'm Pretty not going to take that away from him. Okay, cool. What about Alassane Yusuf? Oh, impressive in his first game. Injuries didn't dirty, but we're hoping that he comes back. But I don't know if there's any space right I now. I don't think there's any space for him to be when honest. When you go full throttle into a tournament, you don't want to chop and change too yeah. much. So, yeah. But is that a decent start? We will probably not see Bruno Yemechi or how good he is because, mm. again, just to follow up on what he said, it's important for you to keep that structure. Yeah, keep it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Asen Wenger in his days used to say, never change your winning team, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. why he likes keeping Jungberg, Perez, Viewtoad, uh, mm-hmm. Denis mm-hmm. Benka, and Thierry Henry. It's that simple. You know who's going to play. Sometimes you see the likes of Emmanuel Petit coming to the train, the span and the works. But I think it was important that we also have players like Alas and Yusuf just be there. Mm-hmm. In case we tie out, it will be, or maybe he's lacking. You know, this is just on a lighter mood. You know, people say that, <laughs> on Twitter, I saw on Edge, rather, they said they are wondering which Okocha, that which Okocha he will be related to. Oh, <laughs> you know, that, that, that is... It's the phenomenal... Uh, but, but you guys are not giving that guy's flowers. Well, well, no, but, that's well, a question. No, 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 but but yeah. let's focus on the debutants mm-hmm. now. Let's talk about, yeah. you know, Bright Osai, who had a sitter against the Ivorians mm-hmm. and missed it, but... Would you rate his performance? So it's a, it's a good squad player. Yes, he is. He it's, is, a, is. A, it's a squad player to have around. Yes, let's let him can come put in, in the air, can, can put in a shift. Tired and yeah. well. He can do his own shift as well. And then I think it's the fact that he's a player who is willing to learn. Mm. You know, um, when you're never going to bench all, um, all I know. Forget the fact that that guy is African. There are few right backs. All I know is like number one. Or there are few top right two backs. Players on the, on the there are few right now. backs yeah. in the world right now. Maybe because in that position, generally. I'll say full, but he can't around the world. Sides, left and right. Uh, maybe let's just give him that right okay. back. Yeah? I think all, all around the world right now, I mean, and Wally would agree with me, there's a decline in the quality right backs. If you check mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you check around. True. But you know, Ola also doesn't like it. 
to be boxed on that right back. Yes. Because because he right. So, 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 so sometimes, say, even so in the game, yeah, you could yeah. see him inverting to his left. Yes. So because he feels comfortable playing both. in both positions. Yeah. So, Sai yeah. will not get a shot, basically. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, Let's see where he sits built. Terry Murphy, uh, he came in for the injured Victor Boniface. I mean, I mean, it's his first tournament, major tournament for the Super Eagles. Yeah. Would you think with the form of Osime, See, even because so he's never third, second choice. Or see, when second when you choice. go to tournaments, there are some players who are content with just sitting on. They, they know the quality in front of them. Yeah, okay. They know where they stand in the back. Yeah, they're real with themselves. And, and Murphy knows that. Yeah. Murphy knows he can't. But see, those, yeah. your time will always come. Indeed. So when he comes, can Rap. you take that opportunity? Yeah, that's right. Right. I'm looking forward to that moment whereby these players perhaps will have their moments to shine in the sun. We do have uh, the thoughts of the current Super Eagles captain, Ahmed Musa, and of course, that of the debut, uh, not debut, the debutizing striker, actually, I should use, Paul Onoachu, as well as they share their thoughts on the upcoming game against Angola. We're not gonna say too much on the social media. We're just gonna give our best in the pitch. So our result on the pitch is gonna give the answer of everything that everyone wanna know about the team. But uh, we're taking each game one uh, one step at a time. So now we are into the quarterfinals. So we're gonna do all our best to win the next game so that we'll see ourselves in the semi-final. Yeah, like I said earlier, uh, we have signed a contract uh, in between our own self that we are going to play seven games. Uh, we're going to win all the seven games. And if we win all the seven games, we are champions. So we, we are not going to lose focus because we, we win our goals, the same thing I've been saying. So but we stay focused, we win Cameroon. So, so now we are still focused. We are taking each game at a time. So we are not losing focus anywhere, uh, anywhere because we win Cameroon. No, we are always focused for the next game. Yeah, each game is like a final now because if you lose every game, any game you're out. So for the support, we really, we saw what in the social media everywhere yesterday, everyone was happy. That is what we want to bring back to the country because we know uh, football in, in Nigeria and everywhere around the world is something else. So for the support, for the prayers, we need more and then we are going to say thank you very much to all Nigerians for supporting the Super Eagles and inshallah. Let me say that music that have been that we have been singing will never let them down by the grace of God. I mean, you know, it's a game we have to take serious, like we've um, we've done um, uh, with the previous games. Um, yeah, there's no easy game here, no easy opponent, and especially when it comes to facing Nigeria, every team I want to show that they can beat Nigeria. You know, especially. The ones that believe that they are underdogs, that's you know, that's where we will get more difficulties. So I mean everyone knows what's at stake and um, um we all know how prepared we are um to face Angola. So it's gonna be a tough game, like I said, there's no game that is easy. We're gonna prepare very well to face them. I mean, you know, me, you, the whole Nigerians, we are hoping to to, to, to get the, the, the gold and uh, that's the priority that's um the, the goal we, we set as a team, um, uh, as uh, even Nigerians, so they want to see us back with the, with the cup. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's my goal, that's the team goal, that's the country goal. So, yeah, that's what we're looking forward to, hopefully, um, with God and um, the, the team and the coaches' hard work, uh, I think um, we're going to get to the final and win the cup 100%. Mm, that looks good, Darling. I learned from the best. Glad you <laughs> get your bar. But it got you to marry me, didn't it? <laughs> close your eyes. I have a gift for you. Wait, down? Ready, close your eyes. Okay. This is a thank you. 
about all the sunrises that you've given me all these years. Oh, baby. Now you're going to make me cry. Don't worry, baby. I'll be home soon. Every moment, every smile, every emotion is richer with the right connection. Thank you for lighting up my life, baby. You're a real gift. Welcome back to the Super Eagles Watch Podcast, still in the presence of the hot man, Victor Godfrey. And uh, guys, let's talk about uh, now we're counting down to this big game against Angola. Familiar foes, you know, cost us the World Cup ticket a few a few decades ago. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now let's talk about... I'll go with George then. <laughs> <laughs> now we saw Uma Bali, uh, many concerns for, many concerned Nigerians and football fans with the injury. It kind of took his left knee with that bad landing against the Cameroonians. He says he's fine, he feels good. We are hoping he's, you know... Every fits. player always feels good. Uh, Trust me. But do we... Not talking about squad depth, <laughs> because we have Uzoho, we have Ojo. Do we have the squad depth to go all the way? Should in case a starter gets injured, which could happen in any competition. The four games we played in this tournament mm. have shown us exhibits our strength, our muscle, mm-hmm. in depth. Um, True second was out, mm-hmm. stepping Omero. Mm-hmm. Zedu Sedensi went off, stepping Calvin Bassi and left back. Mm-hmm. Alisson went off injured, Onyeka. stepping Onyeka the tank. Who, who, who has, Simon Chukwese. Who has been immense. Up front, Osime came off against Cote d'Ivoire, Paul Onacho comes in and helps you see out the game. Mm-hmm. Did save against Cameroon. So, I mean, the, the depth is there. Mm-hmm. So I think we've got what it takes. Mwabali gets injured, Uzo comes Uzo, in. my guy. <coughs> you, you, you what? Move on. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one, this one value was all conversation. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I, I agree. The depth is there. Mm. And so some people say, oh, uh, have you seen the Senegalese team, Cote d'Ivoire team? The truth is, Senegal... No, please don't mention Cote d'Ivoire. I don't think... They came into the back door and they owned the house. <laughs> <Carry on. laughs> but, fair enough. But I think most of the teams, yeah, aside the Moroccans and the Algerians, for all we know... Algeria Alger- house. Oh, yeah, Algeria just had a very interesting... I'm just talking about the overall, like the mm. depth of their squad. They came with a lot of quality players, even on their bench, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, or um, Osam Hawa of uh, Roma was with Leon before absolutely phenomenal footballer mm. he didn't get it biting you know <clears throat> but I think we've got we've got our quality depth I think the quality is there um I also like the fact that we've got hungry players it's one thing for you to have players who are very you know quality on paper and then let them show up on the day every player maybe aside from said one once a while you know every player that has been called up to answer his call as one is his chest on his sleeve and that's what you want to see from your player in every mm. department we even saw Uzo come in and he kept a, a clean sheet for what now, 17 minutes. That's a thing. He said his goal kick didn't cross the. You know, yeah, no. but yeah, his, his goal kick never crossed the apple line. But, yes. that, but we move, we move That's on. That's cringe. But I think, but I think um, everybody would love to see Mwabali back. You know, it's, it's, it's also good for you to just continue that mojo that you started the season with. Get a 100% bonus when you recharge your MTN line with your Momo account. Download the Momo app now or dash the 671 hash to enjoy. for us to take a quick look at the fans help remember you can be a part of the conversation on social media be a part of the hot man here on the super Eagles watch podcast maybe YouTube. we'll give you another name we'll become three for now yeah. Yeah. Hot man. Be youtube hot we'll youtube, become three. YouTube x uh formerly known as twitter and of course facebook and instagram we do have uh, the thoughts of one of our very own uh i would call him our fan favorite at this point because he usually is the one that drops most comments on youtube and it is from user um, minus HB five T H five G V three Q. Can we know his name? He that Going name, forward, is, name is not there. Let us know your name. Let's put your name. <laughs> Even if he's an initial, we'll take it. So he says, "Nice show, guys. All way from Manchester." I even got the scoreline right, which was two 0 So congratulations to you on that. And of course, he also adds that in the second comment, "All that matters today is Super Eagles to make us proud. Come on, Nigeria, let's do it Come on. again." Yep. Yep. Now, of course, in the spirit of uh, that solidarity and national pride, it is time for us to call it uh, a day on today's episode. Big shout out to the hot men who will still have conversations, uh, Wally, about Uzo. Now we did. But, now we did. Now we did. Now we did. Now we did. <laughs> but, uh, but I will say this until next time be good, be safe, keep your goodness as possible. And it is bye from us. And of course, bye for now. Sir.